about an hour. In our health key report for you this morning, celebrating her son's 25th birthday party was anything but a celebration. Cynthia Gibson got the news that day that changed her life. Unfortunately, it was breast cancer that she learned she had. Fox Connecticut's Audrey Kuchin has her very emotional story. I'm just glad to be a survivor. It's been two years and nine months, and I'm just thankful to be here. Especially thankful because Cynthia Gibson clearly remembers one tough afternoon in November 2007. She was headed to her son's 25th birthday party that night, but stopped in for her regular mammogram appointment that day. She'd never missed one. Suddenly, in an instant, her whole day, her whole world drastically changed. Doctors found calcifications that turned out to be fibroid tumors, breast cancer. I had to leave the mammogram office and go pick up his cake and go home and celebrate, which I did. And I just had to fight back the tears. And I just said to myself, first I said, why me? And then I said, why not me? The next day after the party, Cynthia told her family, soon after surgeons removed her right breast. That same year, her sister-in-law lost her battle with breast cancer, and her husband, her, quote, greatest cheerleader, passed away after a bout with colon cancer. So it was a very tough year for me, losing both my breast and my husband in the same year. You have to make up your mind that you're going to fight. Cynthia credits her strength to a renewed sense of faith and a team of doctors at the Comprehensive Breast Health Center at St. Francis Hospital that emphasized compassion as much as science. I'm here today and I'm stronger and wiser, healthier, and um, I'm just thankful. Audrey Kuchin, Fox, Connecticut.